Hey, this is Marshall Pro. We're going to take a look at the 2018 Universal Bodywork the IndyCar unveiled on Tuesday on the racetrack. This is a Super Speedway kit. We're looking at the Chevy powered version here using the 2012 DLAR DW12 chassis. This is built around. You'll notice that the nose itself looks familiar, as does the chassis, but everything else around it is all new. The front wings, the end plates, those are new. We're going to dive into those just a little bit more in a moment. But this car in Speedway trim looks nothing like the one it, uh, it's currently on track. You see the side pods here heavily sculpted. That's become very common in recent years. Looking back at the front wings, you see that they are swept rearwards a little bit. There's a central adjuster. There are no wickers on them. The end plates themselves can be adjusted up or down to be tuned to match the height of the, uh, the wing angles themselves. So no matter how high or how low the front wings are adjusted, mechanics can adjust the end plates so that they are running as flat as can be. You'll see here the central spine, the central wicker. It's a carryover from the Honda last year. It's on both cars. If you look at the, the curved profile of the DW12 chassis in the nose, it's round. In a crash and a flip, air loves things that are round to lift those things up. So that central wicker is meant to disturb the air and slow that from happening. Now the side pods here just love these. Again, not necessarily brand new concept in terms of something that's never been seen before, but to me, just very modern. I love the sculpting. You'll see at the base of the side pods, below where the radiator and turbo inlets come at the very base there, there's a bit of a scalloping to take the air that comes in and hits the side pod, hold on to that, create some vortices. You also see the big hole uh, that will be open on the super speedways. That'll be closed when we are road and street courses to make more downforce. The sponsor blocker is gone. Very happy that that is no longer there. I know the teams are certainly happy. That device is not in place, but overall, just look at this profile. Also, we'll see the mirror there is in a new position. We have the uh, radiator inlet blocking that the teams have added. Um, those will be modified to suit based on temperatures, but just something brand new, something that I really enjoy. If you look at the rear tire ramp, that's probably one thing folks have complained about the most. It's necessary. Uh, it helps the car from a drag reduction standpoint by diverting air over the rear tires. Tires just create a ton of turbulence and a ton of drag when uh, they meet the exposed air. So while it's hard to do something like that in front of the front tires, you definitely want to do it with the rear tires to minimize drag and improve straight line speed. Taking a look at the back of the car here, we have the rear wing, which is not very big, but it's also frankly very similar to what we've had the past couple of years with aero kits in the super speedway trim, very small. Uh, if I had one suggestion, I'd love to see it move back a little bit. You can also see here the flaps that come up in case of a spin to uh, reduce the likelihood of a blowover. We look at the new and modified diffuser coming from the underwing. Bigger, makes more downforce. Just the uh, rear of the car in general. Uh, it's nice that we can see this. We have no Kardashians. We have no rear wheel pods in the way. The, uh, the attenuator is still there, as you can see, but the uh, beam wings that came out and held on to the Kardashians, just ugly as can be, didn't do anything. Uh, you know, they didn't stop Scott Dixon from uh, getting airborne at Indy in the crash this year. So glad they're gone. Look at those giant tires. Just a wonderful look. Uh, very tightly wasted car, the Coke bottle style of wrapping things in tightly. The uh, venting here, the louvers above the exhaust and the uh, new bodywork, you see the exhaust themselves that peak up. It's a little bit busy back here. Had one engineer say, you know, it just uh, seems like there's a lot of clutter, a lot of things for air to hit and uh, slow things down. So I'm sure that might be an area of everything from the rear suspension back that'll get cleaned up before these cars come out. Again, we're looking at the, uh, the Chevy uh, wrap on this car, which I was a big fan of between the two to be honest. So we have this uh, downward angle on the rear wing. There's a consideration of angling those upwards, uh, but uh, there's a part of me that thinks this either needs to be higher or swept back so it stands apart from the car a little more. It just gets lost from some angles. There's a rear wing adjuster. Uh, wing angle adjustment, it sounds like that's gonna be the main tuning item compared to a bunch of bolt-on or wickers and whatnot, the front and rear of the car, at least at Indianapolis. Pocono could be uh, definitely be a little bit different with more wicker options there. Just a beautiful low engine cover, something that uh, I think that is IndyCar. Now that we're going back to it, it needs to stay. 
the back side of the ramps themselves, the opening there wrapping from the inside of the side pod going between the ramp. You can see a little NACA duck hidden there for some cooling of electronics, but it's the back of the car. It looks beautiful. Uh, we have the very small spine atop the engine cover itself, a little bit of uh, lateral stability and yaw in case of a slide. Again, that rounded surface, that, uh, that small fin helps break that up. But yeah, you just look at what this is. Uh, it is just beautifully profiled and tapered uh, everything. <laughs> just There's very little that is uh, straight. Uh, there's not a lot of flat on this car and I love it. I think just going away from the aero kits, I like the idea of the aero kits, I like the idea of aero development, but uh, let's just say with how those rules were implemented and the limited amount of development that could be done, uh, we kind of had a fixed aero kit and uh, there really wasn't that much development going on from there. So here's a quick look at the new Super Speedway bodywork. I love it. I hope you love it too.